stop recording. Hello, Diana. Happy rising. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello, Richard. How has everyone's week been since Monday? Let's do a midweek check-in. How's your emotions? How's your thoughts? How's your feelings? Let me know how you guys are doing today. Good, yay! I am, um, I think I told you guys on Monday, but I'm going out of town today again. So I left Florida. I'm back home. Um, but then I am leaving again today um, to go out of town again. So I've just been rushing, rushing, rushing around all morning. I'm uh, trying to get ready, but it's all good. I'm so grateful. I'm so blessed. And um, there's worse things that I could be doing, you know, than stressing about packing, right? So I am grateful. I am grateful today. Hello, Amia. And hello, Beverly. Mm, slow moving today, kind of black. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, Diana, I am I'm right there with you. I did not want to wake up this morning, um, and then I had a hard time kind of getting into a meditative state this morning, um, so I got a little bit of meditation in, you know, ever since I started meditating, I mean, God, who knows how long now, um, I've actually, it's one thing I'm really proud of myself for, I've never missed a day, I've never missed a day of meditation, Even if it's just, you know, five minutes of just, you know, focusing on my breath. I've never missed a day. And it it really is vital for my life and my attention span and um, my ability to be productive. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello, Stephanie. Hello, Diana. Hello, 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 beautiful souls. (sighs) Mm, well, thank you guys so much for joining today. Stephanie, I don't think I've seen you in a little bit. How have you been doing? <laughs> I love when you guys do that. You guys are so cute. Hello. who? Hello, Beth. Good, 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 good. So what is everyone in need of today? What is everyone needing in conversation, in meditation, in community, in support? What is everyone in need of today? Is there anyone new here, by the way? Please let me know if anyone is new that is here today. Hello, Max Q. Max Q. Hello, Jean. If you are here and I haven't said hello to you, I'm sorry. There's little pictures right here at the bottom. And I just click on those pictures to see who's here. But not all of the pictures always show up. Mm. I hear you, Elizabeth. And you're not alone. And sometimes you just have to be where you are, you know. You know, we all, we all struggle. We all have moments, you know, but that's, that's why I do this. This is why I come live on Insight Time because I want everyone to know that they are not alone and that we really are a community to uplift each other and lift each other up and support each other and just be there you know it's so easy to be there for people in you know the easy times right but everyone everyone dips into that and you know as Abraham Hicks always says when you know what you don't want you know more clearly what you do want and you can strive for better tomorrow so I know the contrast and my message for you and anyone else that is you know struggling and knowing that they're not alone is to remember and I've said this often is that you know a flower 
needs both rain and sun to grow. And when the rain is raining down on the flower, the flower doesn't say, fuck you flower, excuse my language, or, 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 you know, rain and swear at the rain and bash the rain and get down at the rain. It just says, thank you, rain. Thank you, thank you, thank you, rain, for helping me to grow. It embraces the rain. And we need to learn as humans to be the same way because we too are like flowers and we too need both sun and rain to grow. And so often we honor the sun and we praise the sun, we praise the happy days, the positive days, the good days, right? But we also need the rainy days. We need the contrast. We need the pain. We need the suffering as well to grow. So it's not easy. It's not easy, but you're not alone. And you have all of us here right now with you. And you have a team of angelic beings and guides and angels and ancestors always with you. And if you think I'm calling bullshit, (laughs) think about, you know, when you brought yourself into this world. You know, we don't have the memory of it, right? But you were surrounded by a mother that was able to catch you, doctors if you were in a hospital, you know, to just love on you and support you and carry you and cradle you as you cried. And we came into this world not alone. And when we pass on over, we won't be alone in the physical and we also won't be alone in the non-physical. So I hope that helps a little bit. Yes, I love rainbows. Let me fix this computer screen. Mm. So, uh, oh, rainbows. Richard, that reminded me. So on Monday, when I got done with my meditation uh, with all of you guys, I went outside and I saw a double rainbow. (laughs) And uh, I associated that with all of you, our beautiful souls. All right, guys. Well, we are about eight minutes in. I think we should just join together in community, join together in our circle. Um, is anyone new here today? Thank God. Good, good, good. Um, and then, so let's join hands. If you are new here, my name is Jenna Rose Gennetti. I come live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to just uplift your beautiful souls, love on you guys a little bit, and I uh, encourage you. And we always start with just joining hands, joining imaginary hands to unite us all, to let us know that we're not alone and that we are supported and we do have community. So we're going to do that now. And then after we join hands, we'll talk for a little bit and then we'll dive into the meditation. I tailor all of my meditations to whatever you guys need in the moment. All right. So let's do that. So just start to find, let me get a drink of water real quick, actually. That thing called thirst is kicking in. Has anyone ever experienced that thing called thirst? I'm being silly. All right. Beautiful, beautiful souls. All right. So just start to sit down. And close down your eyes. Oh, that breath felt so good. Everyone just breathe. Take a deep breath in through your nose, holding the breath at the top, and breathing out. Continuing to breathe, noticing and become aware of the inhale, and how that breath makes your body feel, and then let that breath go, just like life. Breathing in and then letting it go in a constant cycle of the intake and the exhale. And start to anchoring your beautiful light that you are. Start to fill your whole body with a beautiful crystalline light as bright and as big as the sun. Feel every inch of your being from the top of your head to the soles of your feet, immersed in the light and bringing and anchoring in your own light now. 
supporting yourself, loving yourself, feeling your worthiness. And then when you are ready, expanding your hands out on your laps and imagining all of us united together. Imagine all of us in a circle, a circle of support, a circle of love, a circle of community. And start to grab hands with every single person in this circle right now. Imagine in your third, ha- third eye grabbing hands. And as you grab hands with them, start to move the light that you are and expand that light to each and every person in the circle. And start to give the light and take the light just like the breath, the inhale and the exhale. And as you move this light around this whole circle, start to see this whole circle start to bloom, start to rise like the sun. Start to see this whole circle as bright and as beautiful as the sun. And starting to set an intention for yourself and for everyone today. That everyone feels supported. Everyone feels loved. Everyone feels wanted. Everyone feels adored. That if anyone is going through any contrasts or resistance today, That we as a community will support each other. Love them a little bit more. Know that you are not alone. But you are supported not only by this circle community that we are. But by a team of angelic beings. Breathing that in. And breathing it out. And then you can choose to either continue to hold hands with everyone or come back to your own individual space. Whatever is right for you. And open up your eyes. And we are back. <laughs> All right. How are you guys feeling? I felt I really felt that. Who else is here? Hello, Jesse. Hello, Lauren. Hello, Julie. Is it Julie Julie or Julie? How do I say that? Hello, Lynn. Who else is here? Oh, hello, Mary Kay. I love when you show up. Yay. All right, guys. So what else is everyone needing today? What would you guys like to talk about? What kind of meditation do you want? What are you struggling with? What are you succeeding in? Let's just set the intention to just be open and vulnerable for each and every person. Let me know if you are new here. So I want to hear a couple brags. Let's brag a little bit before we lead into the meditation. I want to heal the small to big things in your life that you have to brag about. It can be as big as you buying a house to as small as you just drank some water today. (laughs) That you got some good water intake. You know, when we start to celebrate the tiny brags in our life, then we start to celebrate ourselves more. So often we are constantly trying to achieve the big things and then we start feeling bad about ourselves because you know we look at where we want to be and we start to downplay where we are now and where we are now is also a celebration so when we celebrate those small brags then it makes us get to where we want to go even faster Ah, Mary got some great sleep. Yes, I love it. Who else got some great sleep tonight? Yes, yes, yes. Congratulate every 
and everyone congratulate Mary on her great sleep. I am so proud that you got great sleep. Hello, Wendy. Hello, Kaylee. Hello, Larry. Taught my husband to make his own breakfast and laundry. Ooh, that's a big one. That's a big one, Stephanie. <laughs> oh, okay. congratulations on helping your husband to be more self-sufficient. Yeah, I like it. Richard, I've been able to practice more self-love and compassion lately. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I love it. Hello. Yes. Everyone congratulate Stephanie on teaching her husband to make breakfast and do his own laundry. Everyone congratulate Richard for finding that self-love and compassion. Who else? Let's hear a couple more. New to Insight Time on loving your awesome energy. Ah, oh, hello, 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 hello. Hello, my name is Jenna Rose Giannetti, and I am a meditation, spiritual, and women empowerment teacher. I focus on love and sexuality and enlightenment and just dive in deep. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Feel free to come live with me every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm passionate about each and every one of you beautiful souls. And this really is the my favorite time of the week is when I can just join in with you guys. So thank you, Heather, and thank you, anyone else that is new here. Um, I'm so grateful for you guys being here. And you are always welcome to leave a donation. It's never expected, but it's always appreciated. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, one more thing, Heather, and anyone else that's new here, um, please feel free to join my circle. Um, it is Jenna Rose Genetti Love Lights. And I try, and I, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. Um, I've been slacking a little bit on my circle, and... I'm sorry about that. I, I've been slacking because I've been so busy with other things in my life. Um, but it doesn't make you guys any less important. And my goal in the circle is that, you know, that circle can really grow and strive even when I'm not there. That you guys can keep the conversations going. You can support each other. You can love each other. You can be open. You can be vulnerable even when I'm not able to be there. So that's the point. Like, I I really st try to be there and l let you guys up daily. But if I can't, please use that circle to uplift each other and love on each other and support each other. And, yeah, that's my spiel. <laughs> and hello, uh, Barian. Hello, hello, hello. And hello, Rel. Hello, Jordan. Ooh, Jordan, you're in Kenya. I love Kenya. I was there last year. Hello, Christine. I love my familiar faces. I love you guys so much. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you guys so much. And let me know what you guys need. I always tailor my meditations to you guys. And then we'll start in about a minute or two. We'll start the meditation. So just let me know what you guys are needing, what you're feeling. Um, also, I'm going to let you guys know, so I will be here on Friday because I love you guys so, 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 so much. I love you so much that I couldn't stand being away from you guys on Friday, <laughs> but I will be out of town. Um, I am going to a music festival, so I won't have my whole setup. I'm probably not even going to have my laptop, so I will be going live on my phone so um, we'll just go live and we'll just conversate with each other a little bit on Friday. It won't be so formal, um, but I can't be without you guys. I love you guys too much. You guys are like my bread and butter, my vegan bread and butter. <laughs> All right, and I'm going to log into this. And then we'll start the meditation. Yeah, love and light, hoping for focus and centering. Yes, 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 for sure. And hello, Rochelle. And Stephanie, go with the flow. Should we dance it out for a minute, guys? Should we dance? 
Or should we just go right into calmness? You let me know what you guys want to do. I'm all for dancing it out. I'm all for calmness. I don't know what you think. Calm. All right. Well, we can just do a little sway. Just just a little. Just let's just do a little a sway calm dance. Just, And then we'll go right into the meditation. Just a little sway. A little calmness. Get the energy flowing. All right, guys. I, I am ready to meditate. Are you guys ready? Let's make sure that this music is going to work efficiently, productively. Let me set up the recording. I do record um, all of my meditations, um, both video and um, both video and. I can't think today. Oh, and audio. So I put the the videos on YouTube. And then the audios I do put back on the Insight Timer for the meditations. So um, I will go into like my spiel for like the intro of the meditation. And then we'll go into meditation and I'll do like an exit. Because I do record this to uplift it later. Alright guys, well, let's get started. I'm going to play some music for you guys. We'll do a little bit of calm music today. Let me know how the music sounds. Okay, let me know how that music sounds for you guys. Let me know if you can hear it. Is that too loud, too soft? Can you hear the music okay? Just give me a little yes, no, and then I'll start the meditation. Sounds good. All right, guys. Well, I love you guys. All right, guys. Well, let's just start. Beautiful. Yay! I love when you guys answer me back. It really uplifts the energy. <laughs> it's the simple thing. All right, guys, we'll just start to find a seat. And just start to just find calmness and stillness. And welcome. Welcome to the meditation today. Start to just focus on your breath. And start to become a whale of the inhale, the exhale. Starting to close down your eyes and sitting in a spot that you will not be disturbed, that you can become a whale and present with yourself with the many aspects of your beauty, your divinity, your sense of worth and love. And start to breathe in a sense of peace. And allowing that peace to radiate your whole entire body. And then releasing any emotions or feelings that are not needed in this moment. Breathing in again. Breathing in the good breath. Holding the breath in. And breathing out. Relaxing your body, your mind, your soul, your spirit. Continuing to breathe, breathing in, holding the breath at the top, and breathing out, allowing the breath to bring you into higher states of consciousness, higher states of calmness, 
more love, more peace. Continuing to breathe in for a few more cycles. Big deep breath. Always starting with breath work. There's nothing to think about. There's nothing to do. So I start to let go of anything that happened before this moment. Put it on a shelf. Put the thoughts and the feelings that happened before this moment and anything that you need to do after this moment. Put it in a box and put it on a shelf and know that you will come back to it later. Taking one more deep breath in, calming the whole entire body, calming the mind, letting it all go. And on the exhale, start to come back to your natural rhythm of your breath. And start to set an intention for today's meditation. start to call in any guides, any angels, any idols, ancestors, whatever feels right for you, whatever you are needing in this moment. And start to bring your awareness to your heart. For your heart is the first organ that developed in the womb of your mother. Start to become aware and feel the beating of your heart. Notice how your heart beats for you. Notice and become aware and start to become aware and remember that your heart has been beating from the moment that you were created in the womb of your mother. For your heart was the very first organ that developed. Not your eyes or your skin, not your mind, but your heart. And allowing that memory, that knowing, to overtake your whole entire being in complete gratitude. For your heart has always supported you. For we as humans, we work, we come home, we take breaks, we rest. But our heart never rests. It slows down and speeds up at the rhythm that our body calls out for it to do, always knowing the exact beat to keep us alive, well, and beautiful. Feeling into the awareness and the gratitude for the heart. And 
as you become aware of your heart and the love and the kindness that your heart has for you start to see a light in your heart start to spark and start to move that light from your heart throughout your whole body, your mind, your feet. And from this place, start to activate and allow your heart to always be your guide, to always guide you Allowing your heart to guide your mind, your body, the steps that you will take. Start to activate the heart once again and starting to communicate with the heart once again. Finding serenity and knowing that we are never alone and that we have a team, a body, a mind, a heart that is always with us, always guiding us, always protecting us, and allowing our heart to once again be the leader of all of the guides in our body, from our mind to our gut, to our feet that walk down the path, to our team of non-physical beings that are constantly surrounding us, guiding us. To the humans, our partners, our friends that surround us, that try to guide us, our animal companions, Mother Nature. Start to become aware of all of these presents all of these consciousnesses, all of these souls that are always surrounding us in the moments that we feel the most alone and the most in community, start to become aware and remember that you are not alone. You never have been, you never will be. For you may feel alone at times. You may have lonely moments. But in these moments of loneliness, that too is your guidance system. Telling you to reach out for community or to sit solely within yourself to allow you and your own being, your own ego in this life form to guide you in those moments. Become aware of all of this and start to anchor in the memory of the community, the support, the love, the friendship into your whole entire being. And feel into this for just a moment. Notice. 
notice how you are never alone and allow your heart to guide you. Start to thank your heart for leading you. Start to thank your gut for guiding you. Start to thank your mind, your body, your feet. Start to thank the non-physical beings that are completely guiding you. Start to send out messages to your family, your friends, for supporting you and having gratitude. Starting to send out gratitude to any animal companions and anyone or anything else that supports you. And finally, sending out an energetic message to the world that you too are willing and able to support other people. That you are not alone, for they are not alone. You are loved, you are wanted, you are supported. And starting to come back to the breath, breathing in and breathing out, breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in again. Notice what you can smell. Starting to wiggle your fingers. Notice what you can feel. Notice what you can heal. Notice what you can taste. And finally, when you are ready, opening up your eyes and notice what you can see. And smile with delight, knowing that you are loved, you are supported, and you are beautiful. We thank you all for joining in today. If you are not yet following me, please make sure to do so. Comment below your thoughts, your feelings, your experiences. And comment below, I am not alone, but I am supported. Donations are always welcome, but never expected. I thank you. I love you. Who's back, 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 back again? <laughs> Hold on one second, heart. I'm gonna save this meditation real quick, guys. Heart meditation. Not alone. All right. Okay, now I can see the comments. Yay! Welcome home. No one stay. You're welcome. Thank you, Stephanie. Ah, yay. Yay, 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 
Yay! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Retro, thank you so much for that donation. Thank you, everyone. I love you so much. How is everyone feeling? What was your experience with that? And you know what? Look at how many people are here right now. We have 59 beautiful souls that are present with us right now. 59 people are meditating and are on this platform right now with us. And that just shows us that we are not alone. We are never alone, even in the most loneliness of moments. And if you are anything like me, <laughs> now 60 people are here. Thank you for the love and the hearts. If you are anything like me, I, um, I love being alone. I love my alone time. I love my solitude. And I love my community too, right? But I love being alone. I love living alone. Um, you know, in partnerships. It's, it's hard for me to live with someone because I love being by myself so much that sometimes the thought of not being alone is more terrifying to me than, um, than being alone. <laughs> sometimes it's more terrifying when I think about that I'm never really alone. <laughs> but there's a time and a place for everything. So I hope that meditation helped. I thought, I hope that you all felt connection with your heart again in a way that you may or may not have before. Yes. Yes, that's that's big. Thank you. Thank you for bringing that to the platform, Stephanie. Yes, there is a difference between being alone and being lonely. And where does lonely really come from? Like where? And feel free to answer this, everyone. But let's let's talk through this for a minute. Where does the feeling of loneliness really come from? Why why do we get lonely? What is what is the purpose of that? What are the benefits of that? Emptiness. Oh, that's a good one, Diane. Yeah, emptiness. Yeah, what else? Where does the feeling of loneliness come from? Mm. Mm, despair. Yeah. Mm. What else? Don't know yourself. Mm, yeah. Yeah, or, you know, when you go through that phase of life where you're going through that transition, right, and you are moving from an old sense of self, right, to a new sense of self, right, and you're learning again who you are, Yeah. Yes. Filling a void. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Those are all great. Yeah, I can't help but just ponder and think about and feel free to answer this not knowing Diane. Yeah. I can't help but think about a time in my life and everyone feel free to think about this as well. Um, I don't I don't know the answers. I'm just kind of thinking and letting my mind wander right now. But I'm, I'm thinking about when in my life I felt the most lonely. Like, when did I feel the most lonely? And feel free to share. But, you know, one of the times, and those that are, are familiar with me, you know I... I go into my long stories hoping, <laughs> I, I'm not going to make it a long story, but I do, um, I am vulnerable and I am honest about the life that I've lived, um, hoping that it can inspire other people, but I remember when I was about 24, um, I was real lonely, and I had just gone through a breakup with someone that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with, and the breakup happened suddenly. It um, 
literally I didn't see it coming and he broke up with me and then um you know it was a real real bad time in my life just because I was I was lonely right I was lonely I had been living with my partner for two years and um and then to have him leave right and I I felt this deep sense of loneliness because how do you how do you go on well, how do you find a new life when you're so used to living the life for someone else, right? And I just remember back then just feeling so lonely and feeling like I can't reach out to my friends and I can't reach out to my family. And and I know there's been, you know, times before that one and times after I was probably more lonely, but that was the thought that came to my mind and at this time, I remember my mother called me, and um, my ex's name was Andre, and my whole family loved him. I swear they loved him more than they loved me. And she called me crying one day, and <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I can laugh at this now, but I was mad. I was mad at the moment. But she called me crying, and she's just crying, and I was, you know, my whole heart opened up. I was like, oh my god, what's wrong? What's wrong? Like, is everything okay? Is my dad okay? Is Megan, okay, my sister, you know, and she's like, I just miss Andre so much. You have no idea, Jenna. You have no idea how sad I am. You have no idea what this feels like to to be so sad about Andre leaving. And I was so mad at the time because she wasn't going through the breakup. I was. <laughs> And I hung up on her, and I'm like, you got to be kidding me right now. And now I, now I can laugh at that, right? But um, I remember hanging up the phone and just feeling so lonely because I couldn't go to my family, right? And I couldn't go to my friends because, you know, it just, it was a lonely time. So, and I think, you know, the reason I mentioned that is what was I feeling? I think the reason I was lonely in this story, in this moment, was just because I felt I had no one to go to. I think it came from that feeling of people not understanding. Uh, Emptiness, for sure. You know, feeling a void, for sure. Mm. And I think loneliness can be a beautiful thing sometimes. I, I don't think we should sit in our loneliness, right? But what came from that, and that's why I started to a story, was I was so lonely. And at this time in my life, I was, I was a hardcore Christian. I was a non-denomination Christian. You know, I was very hallelujah, praise the Lord, uh, Jesus-loving Christian at this time. And at this time of this breakup, I was, and I didn't know it. I didn't know it at the time, but I was going through a huge mm-hmm. transformation a huge transformation even before the breakup even happened. And nothing was making sense. Christianity wasn't making sense. The Bible wasn't making sense. Church wasn't making sense. Nothing was logical. Nothing was rational. Nothing felt right. Literally nothing felt right. And I remember going to church and just feeling so empty. And like I felt despair. I actually felt despair going to church. I felt despair reading the Bible because I thought like this just doesn't feel right like no one can answer my questions and um so I was going through this at the time and so I went through the breakup and I remember at this point I was kind of just angry at God right and uh, I'm all just crying out and oh god now I know why this story came up and uh, I'm all crying out to God and Jesus and Buddha and whoever was out there. I'm just on my hands and on my knees just sobbing my eyes out and saying, I don't care what's out there. Like, help me. I don't want to go on anymore. I don't want to live. And I, in this moment, I didn't, I didn't know what I was going for. And it was this crazy moment Well, I thought the thought and I heard meditation and I didn't really think much of it, right? But I'm like, meditation, like, what's that? And then I let the thought go, right? And then I just, the next day I was like, oh my God, like, what do I do? And I woke up and I heard someone else say, you should start meditating. 
And I thought, I'm not going to meditate. you got to be kidding me. Like, like that, that would look ridiculous. Like me just sitting around and just oming all day. I was like, that's strange. And then I thought, so then I found a meditation on YouTube. And at this point, I thought, well, I know what? Screw it. Like, this is the third time. And I always had a belief system that if I heard something three times, then I better take action. Okay, the first time, eh, probably not going to listen. Second time, all right, I'm starting to get it. Third time I hear it, okay, that's the universe. That's the universe speaking to me, right? So I sat down to meditate, and the minute, like, and this was just like, I, I don't even know what the meditation was. It was just something on YouTube. Um, but the minute I started meditating, I got this, like, deep sense of just knowing, this, like, deep sense of, like, oh, my God, it's finally making sense. The idea of Christianity, why Christianity and, you know, all of this wasn't making sense to me anymore, why the breakup was happening. Like, it was like this, like, light bulb moment that when I sat down to meditate and I actually got to the place of almost stillness. And so I kept meditating and it was only like three times that I meditated that I first went to the void. If anyone has ever been to the void, I like to call it. And I just felt like I couldn't tell my nose from my toes and I was sitting in complete silence. And so I just kept meditating, right? And then I went through my spiritual awakening and everything, I just download after download after download. Like I, at that time in my life, and this was, I mean, this is almost 10 years ago now. At this time in my life, I had so, I, I, I still have all the, all, everything right here is a journal, by the way. I'm always writing. But this time in my life, I was like filling up a journal every other day with all the thoughts and all the downloads that I was getting at this time. And so that's why I meditate today because, and I didn't expect this story to lead me back to what, like meditation, but it, it, apparently that's why I felt the impulse to show. Um, because meditation changed my life. And when I was feeling lonely and when I was feeling like I had nothing and I was in despair and I didn't know myself because who was I without this partner? And I was feeling empty meditation changed my life it changed my perception it changed my perspective it allowed me to get in touch with something so much bigger than me something so much bigger than you guys so something so much bigger than everything that is and i had a psychedelic trip every time i meditated without ever doing a psychedelic in my life And it was just, it was beautiful. So with all of that story, thank you, thank you, thank you for listening to me. Uh, I didn't expect it to go there. But in all of that story, I really believe that meditation really is medication. And meditation really is the answer. Or at least it was for me. But with that being said, what's right for one person is not necessarily right for everyone. And you got to remember that. But there are 67 beautiful meditators here right now. You have the Insight Timer, a meditation app downloaded. So you either love meditation or you like meditation or you are new to meditation. But no matter what, you are a heal to meditate, right? To heal me talk, heal other teachers talk, to heal, you know, wisdom and inspiration and direction. So you are here for a reason. So allow the meditation to bring you to wherever you need to go. Allow meditation to transform your life and to help you to not be lonely, but know that you're always supported and always guided and so, so, so loved. I hope that helps. (laughs) Let me know if uh, that resonated with anyone or if I was just talking just to talk. (laughs) <laughs> has anyone experienced anything like that yay I'm so glad I love you you guys are teaching me you guys are the ones that are teaching me hello Megan hello my sister's name's Megan hello hello beautiful souls yes 
Yes, the meditation keeps us going. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you, guys. I really am so grateful for you guys. I'm grateful for the love and the awareness. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, we have a couple more minutes. I have to pack for this festival I'm going to right now. Um, but I want to give you guys what you need. So before we leave, if anyone needs anything specific, please let me know in the comments below. Allow us all to support each other and send some healing and some love and some light. Um, I am a Reiki practitioner, so I would love to send some Reiki if anyone needs it. Um, I think we always all need it. And uh, will you be on Wednesday? Yes, yeah, so today's Wednesday, right? Am I losing my mind? Today's Wednesday, you mean Friday? Yes, yeah, so on Friday, I will be here. Um, I will be here on Friday, but I will be... So, actually, let, let me rephrase that. My intention, I intend to be on Insight Time or on Friday, okay? That is my intention. I will be um, camping. I have no idea what the service is going to be like. I have no idea if I'm going to have reception, if I'm not going to have reception. Um, uh, what would you say? Yes, I went back to Mon. I'm sorry, man. I don't know what you meant by that. I'm so sorry. I'm confused. But anyways, I plan to be here on Friday. I will be coming in live with you guys on my phone. Um, I will be here on Monday too. Um, so I will be coming live with you guys on my phone. I don't know what the service is going to be like. I We're just going to go with the flow. Yes, I will be back here on Monday. Um, I will still be at the festival on Monday, but I will be going live with you guys on Monday. So um, you guys are my passion. You guys are my love. I don't want to miss a day with you guys. <laughs> so we're really going to go with the flow on Friday. We'll probably just have a little bit of communication. Um, if we can do our meditation, great. We'll just go with the flow then. Um, if anyone is new here, I do go live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Even when I'm on vacation, I still want to be here with you guys. Um, also, please join my circle for latest updates and all of that. That is Generous Genetti Love Lights. If you are a powerful, beautiful, divine, feminine goddess, um, please feel free to join my free Facebook group. Um, a few more announcements. Um, if you aren't familiar, I had someone reach out to me um, about my sexual cord cutting, sexual healing, and love course that um, I made. If anyone's interested in that, I can send you the information. Just send me a message about that. A couple of you guys have reached out and asked questions about that, but that course is all about cutting cords, cutting cords from past relationships to move into the reality we most prefer now. It's a course all about giving back energy that wasn't ours to take, getting back energy that we gave away that um, is ours, cutting cords with the past, um, and just getting open and honest and completely you know, infatuated in love with ourselves. So if you're interested in that, please send me a message. I would love to send you that information. Um, and I did discount it literally 90% for a week um, because I know the benefit of that course and I want to help people. So um, if you guys are interested, just send me a message and we can talk about that. Uh, oh, my Facebook group is the Labyrinth Within um, Woman Goddess Group. And thank you, thank you, thank you for that donation. I am so grateful for all of your donations, guys. Thank you so much. It really inspires me to just be where I am today. I thank you. I love you guys all so much. Um, and lastly, I'm about to close down the circle in a minute, but lastly, if anyone needs anything specific in meditation or conversations, um, please let me know. I am happy to tailor all of these to what you guys individually need, what you guys want from me what you guys want for your experience and your meditation so thank you if you guys need that and oh one more thing and then we'll close down so one more announcement so I will be going out of town this week when I come back I think I'm going to start doing zooms 
Um, and so the way that will work is I will come live on Insight Timer. And if anyone wants to join me live on Zoom um, while we do Insight Timer, we can meet like 30 minutes before Insight Timer goes live. And then you will have like kind of like a backstage pass of Insight Timer. Um, I can bring you up on Insight Timer so other people can hear your dialogue and and then we'll have a little bit of time after so it'll probably be like roughly like a two hour backstage pass thing so um but that will be once i get back from my festival we'll stop doing those and i love you Moya. thank you all right guys let's close down this circle but never close down the love never close down the support never close down the community Oh, this was good today, guys. All right, so just start to close down your eyes. Breathing in that light that you are. And breathing that light back out to everyone that's you. And imagining, once again, all of us communing together. Imagine that circle. We went from 10 meditators to 80 meditators. So imagine all 80 of us are circling in. See all of us circling, holding hands for one another. And start to feel the light of the circle. See this light as big and as beautiful as the sun. And start to feel the love and the support of the community. And embrace all of it. Knowing that you are not alone, that you are always supported, that you don't have to be lonely. Know that you are beautiful, it's the authentic you that you are. And start to whisper love and kindness to everyone in the circle right now. Holding their hands, sending love, receiving love, sending light. Receiving light. And breathe it all in one more time. And then smile and thank everyone in the circle right now for being present, for communing with you. Starting to let go of their hands. Coming back into your own sense of sovereignty. Back in prayer form. And bowing down with me and repeating. Namaste. For my soul recognizes your soul, that we are one soul and many bodies. I love you guys so much. Thank you for joining today, and I will see you guys on Friday. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.